Warning, this is Jake's first walkthrough of Katawa Shoujo and is going down Emmy's route. Some contents may be inappropriate for kitties. Previously on Katawa Shoujo. What are you doing down here, Hisho? Well, I came to see you, girl. What do you think? She look Oh, we say the B word. Beautiful. She looks beautiful. <laughs> Damn right, I'm Emmy Ibarazaki, fastest thing on no legs. <laughs> I give her a hug. Oh, so we go hug time. Okay, yeah, sure. Oh, you hear me, Sky? You stop that raining right now, this instant. She's sick in bed. No! Dang it! Wind up in this sort of position. Um, um. Hi! And our story continues. Hey, everybody out there in YouTube land, Jake of the One Man Band is back again, bringing you mo entertainment in more ways than one. We are back in Katawa Shoujo. And after the last episode, well, stuff. Definitely stuff. So we should definitely get a move on and see what this next day holds for us. A night of restlessness has left me feeling fairly groggy this morning. The events of the previous day keep intruding upon my mind. The memory of how Emmy felt against me. The memory of our wrestling match. Yeah, wrestling. It was wrestling! Get your mind out of the gutter. The most bothersome, the memory of her nightmare. She, w she was in so much pain. I can't stop wondering what it must be like for her to wake up with nobody there. Well, maybe she's used to it. The shower shocks me awake with hot water. Awake, but still worried. What will happen today? Will things just go back to normal? End of the episode, back to the status quo? There was a connection yesterday. Something that nearly pushed us past the boundaries of a normal friendship. Well, did you just gotta build off that, you know? Would that have been so bad? My mind goes back to the look on Emmy's, in Emmy's eyes after our pillow fight. It almost seemed like she was daring me to go on. Almost. I dare you make my day. But I can't know for sure. Anyway, the track captain's probably first of her affections. Don't say that, man. Don't say that. You don't mean that. Mm-mm. No way. But even as I... S say that my mind is already sorting snorting I'm just looking for an excuse a reason for everything to go wrong a reason not to try you should definitely try it's not as if I've ever seen the two of them together outside of track practice and clearly he's never visited Emmy Emmy said as much himself herself if they were close, surely he'd visited. Such a wuss. I had to just go out, just go for it anyway. Damn the consequences. That's what Emmy would do, I think. Hell, I know that's what she'd do. It's, I'll just hurry up and do it, boy! Which is practically why I'm convinced that there's no interest in her end. She hasn't acted either. Maybe because of this track captain. It's pr possible she's got a bit of a unrequited crush thing going on. But who would be able to clarify their relationship? I'm sure as hell can't be Emmy. She's probably just laugh and ask I w why I wanted to know and why I'm ready. I'm not, And I'm not ready to answer that yet. Rin, our best bet. Great. Rin would probably just give me some cryptic answer or something. And then with my luck, she'd just ask Emmy, who would ask me why I wanted to know, and I've already covered that problem. Well, who else is there? I wonder. Can I get away with asking the nurse? Oh, well, maybe. He seems pretty protective of Emmy. I'm sure he'd know for. He'd know if something was up. And he owes me for not letting Emmy know that he forgot to tell me about her being ill. So he'll keep quiet. What if he asks me why I want to know, though? Ah, 
just just do it boy either you either have to ask the question or you just gotta go for it either way you're gonna be screwed or happy so I I can shake him off and just say I'm curious as a friend he'll buy that won't he no probably not of course that's it's that's settled then after the run I'll talk to him while Emmy's waiting outside the office there's no sign of Emmy when I arrive at the trek. Is she still too ill? I decided to give her ten minutes. I'm a little early and she was ill yesterday, so if she takes a while to show up, it shouldn't be surprising. Still, I'd hate to just waste my time, so I occupy myself by stretching and pacing back and forth anxiously. What if I went too far yesterday? What if she doesn't come because she's embarrassed? What if... Stop with the what ifs! Thank you, Emmy! <laughs> I was getting tired of having to read his thoughts. Oh, there's some person doing construction across the way or something. <clears throat> You're early again, Hishio. I'm impressed. Well, you should be. Because I've been running. Just like that, I feel some of the tension leaving my body. Emmy seems to be bright and cheerful as usual, with no sign that she was ill the other day, which less had a much less had a less than restful sleep. Still, I have to ask. Sleep well last night? <laughs> it's just a throwaway question, small talk, but it cued this music. So, obviously, it has some importance. The sort of thing people ask someone they bump into at a cafe while getting their morning coffee. Or tea, since we're in Japan. But not for us. At least, not for me. I don't know if Emmy realizes that I'm actually concerned about how well she slept last night, but the question does give her pause. After a short moment of what seems like her... Uh genuinely pondering this, she nods. Yep, sure did. Was it because of me? Did I actually help? Probably, yeah. Or are you just saying that to get m me to stop asking questions? Well, good to hear. Emmy grins and begins warming up. So, ready to begin? <laughs> Am I ready? Of course I'm ready. I was born ready. Emmy laughs at my bravado, and and we take off running. Yatta ta ta ta, yatta ta ta, running, running, running. I keep a steady pace the whole time, breathing steadily. I still feel dead at the end, but at least I don't gasp like a fish out of water now. Well, yeah, because then you probably die. Emmy is positively beaming after the run today. Nice job, Hishio. You're improving. I thought I saw something fall, but... You'll be half as fast as me in no time! Oh, Emmy, you're so funny. Downgrading me like that. This last line is delivered with a teasing grin that I've grown all too used to. Oh, how exciting. Pew! And she's gone. Just like always, Emmy begins to run her sprints while I take a cool-down lap. She's really pushing herself today. Like she always does. By the time I'm done with my lap, she's lying across one of the bleachers looking exhausted. Goodness, not pausing for a... Not pushing for a little too much today, are we? You did just have a cold, you recall. Amy gives an annoying snort and sits up. Bah! I'm just trying to make up for lost time, that's all. I went twice as hard today, you know. A good run always gets the kinks out, you know? You can't run away from your problems, Emmy. You can't outrun a cold. <laughs> Clears the mind, too. Oh, does it? Emmy nods vigorously. Yep. It's a great outlet for that sort of thing. She does not explain f further, and I don't ask. Yeah, but I want to ask. What thing? I like to know these things. Because then it's going to hit us, and it, we're going to be surprised, and we won't know how to deal with it. I suspect I know the real reason she went so hard today. 
being sick had nothing to do with it. Something's bothering her. Maybe the nightmare? Maybe something else. But it's not my place to pry. Not yet! Yet! Not yet! I... I'm assuming. She'd tell me if she wanted me to know. I'm sure that comes in handy. You have no idea. The sincerity of her voice confirms my suspicion. The only problem is... Even though I know she'd tell me if she wanted me to know, I still want to know. You're thinking too much like a girl, Hishio. Something on your mind, then? Emmy doesn't seem surprised by my question. Instead, she shrugs. No, Rin. Rin shrugs. You don't, Emmy. Nah. It's nothing worth getting worried about. She seems as if she's trying to convince herself as much as she's convincing me. I open my mouth to ask if yesterday is responsible for her current state of mind, but think better of it. Too much risk in taking the question the wrong way. Yeah, I would think so. Besides, I'm not even sure myself what to think about yesterday. <laughs> yeah, we're still wondering, what happened? Really, I can only get about as far as I, as how it felt to have Emmy sleeping next to me be before my brain shuts down. Having her before me now, covered in sweat and looking where, warily, looking warily at me, she, she's making it difficult to think. Yep, I hear ya. What? We better hurry to see the nurse. I'm running short on time. Aren't we always? Not running short on time. It's funny because she runs and she's short. Emmy laughs at this, a dry chuckle that seems most un Emmy like. Too true. For a brief moment, she looks old, worn down, and by some old hurt. But just like yesterday, I can almost see her shouldering the burden and straightening up slightly. And then she's back to being Emmy again. Come on then, Hishu. Race ya. Y you know it's not a race if you're always gonna win. So there's something going on with her. We already knew that, but now it's confirmed. <laughs> with a sudden, sudden smile, she darts off. Hey, no fair! I take off after her, knowing I won't catch her, but not caring. Even if there's no chance of catching her, I still run after her. Hmm. Even though there's not a chance we can catch her, we still go after her. I think I'm thinking too much into that. Let's just keep going. Emmy's waiting for me at the door as I arrive. Well, well, looks like, look who finally showed up. Yeah, yeah, I'm slow, you're fast. Enjoy your victory while you can. Emmy grins as the nurse pokes his head out of the door. Well, there you are. Come on in, Hishio. You first. In what is becoming a familiar routine by now, he checks my blood pressure and my heart rate. A bit fast today, isn't it? Yeah, I kind of raced Emmy here. The nurse laughs. <laughs> That's never a good idea, especially because you'll never win! He leans in to whisper to me in a conspiratory manner. I don't know if you've heard, but Emmy is a bit of a track star. I reel back in mock surprise. Really? She never mentioned it before. The two of us share a laugh. Did she do okay? Cold seems to be bothered her. Why don't you ask her? He rolls his eyes in exasperation. Of course I'm going to ask her too, but she'll tell me that she doesn't have any problems, regardless of whether or not she does she did or does. So I'm asking you, because you're her friend, and would probably tell me if she had trouble today. When he puts it that way, it makes a lot more sense. She seemed pretty good today, if a little more tired than usual. She was already feeling better when I dropped by yesterday, so I'm sure... So I'm not surprised. The nurse nods, though I notice he tenses slightly when I mention yesterday's visit. Well, that's good to hear. I figure it was just a 24-hour thing. Emmy tends to recover quickly from colds and the like. 
Hey, speaking of Emmy, tell me about this track captain guy. Are she and the track captain, well, you know. A look of suspicion crosses his face. Why do you ask? Well, it's just that as they seem to be close, and I was just curious, you know, fingers crossed, you know. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. So, and I never ask her because that would be kind of embarrassing. So far, so good. Now to really sell it. Besides, I think they make a cute couple. The nurse laughs. Well, I don't suppose you're the first to think that. But I think I can say that some, with some certainty, that the two of them are, n will never do anything like that. Certainly. Yep. Not that I could tell you. Not that I could tell you, of course. Confidentiality and all that. Yeah, right. You. You just. Like holding a secret over my head. That too. Right. Get out of here. I'm a busy man, you know. I roll my eyes at his last statement and head out the door, motion, motioning for Emmy to go in. So. The track captain isn't our adversary? Hmm. Maybe? I don't know. Probably not. The whole time I'm trying to f keep from doing a celebratory dance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the two of them will never do anything like that. Woohoo! Yeah, break out the beer and all that stuff. Woo! <laughs> That's uh, precisely the sort of thing I wanted to hear. I'm half tempted to make some sort of move on Emmy right now, but I think the nurse would probably disapprove. Besides, I still don't know exactly how Emmy feels about me. I mean, it's obvious that she cares about me as a friend, but something more than that. I can't be certain. What do you mean you can't be certain? Yesterday! Yesterday! <laughs> well... Nah, if you took that too far, it could be you're taking advantage of her. That's bad. Yeah, best to take things slow. Slow and steady wins the race. Even so, I can't help but feel hopeful. I just need to figure out a good time to tell Emmy exactly how I feel. That puzzle should keep me occupied for the rest of the day at least. The rooftop is completely deserted. Normally, I could count on Rin to be up here, but here before me, but she's strangely absent. I wonder if she decided to accompany Emmy to the cafeteria for once. That seems pretty unlikely, but it's all I can think of right now. Well, she can't really carry anything, so the most she can do is, like, pick out stuff. But part of me wants to go look for Rin, but a far larger part of me is too pleased with the way the sun feels on my skin to care. I pick idly at my lunch while I wait for Emmy and Ren to show up. It does not take long for me to hear the sounds of someone coming up the stairs. I wait until the door begins to open before talking. Alright, is it them or someone else? Took you long enough, keeping me waiting for you honestly. The two of you are... Huh? Well, that's odd. The only person standing in the doorway is Emmy, who looks mildly confused. Where's Rin? First, first there's no Emmy, because she's sick. Now there's no Rin. What's happening? The alien's taking him? What do you mean, huh? That's, it's me, you know. Emmy, we run in the mornings. We have a... <laughs> she grins, and I feel my heart jump slightly in my chest at the sight. Yeah, I know that. I'm just confused. Where's Rin? Emmy's grin is replaced by a rather guilty-looking expression. Yeah, about that. I kind of sort of... You kind of sort of what? What did you do, young lady? Gave her my cold. Uh-huh. Oh, dear. <laughs> Am I at risk, too? Probably. Due to your uh, wrestling match yesterday. It would make sense, after all. I mean, I were in close contact the other day. Real close! So what did she and Rin do to get her ill? 
Dot dot dot. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts! <laughs> Sitting. Steady on, old lad. Don't go down that road! No! No! Bad! Rin's just probably got a worse immune system than me. Emmy seems shocked by my comment, like she hasn't considered that before. I hope not. I feel terrible if you get ill because of me, Hishio. Oh man, I feel like a f I feel a fever coming on. And the only prescription is more cowbell. <laughs> Emmy looks horrified and then quickly shifts to a more angry expression. Hishio! You stop getting sick this instant. I won't have it. Impulsively, she seizes me by the collar. Even though she's probably like, you know, this high. <laughs> Are you listening to me, Hishio's immune system? Get your ass in gear. I give a smart salute. Doodly noted, ma'am. Emmy steps back and nods satisfied. Good. You are not allowed to miss any morning runs, after all. Their banter, like where they overly dramatic size everything, it's hilarious. But you, but you missed a morning run. Emmy crosses her arms and looks at me haughtily. Yes, but that was a special case. It was me, and not you. Oh, well, excuse me, princess. So, you have special treatment and I don't? That's sexist right there. Oh, I think I skipped something. That's not an explanation at all. Emmy looks flabbergasted. You're kidding, right? That explanation makes perfect sense. No, it doesn't. That's a blatant double standard. I don't see what this has to do with anything. Oh, fine. Emmy seems pleased by her victory. Anyway, if Rin is... If Rin... Is Rin gonna be okay? She's not terribly ill, right? Emmy shakes her head. Nope, she'll be fine. I got her some cold medicine that should help her. Although, I probably should have made sure she didn't try to take all of them all at once. What do you mean all of them at once? What? Not cool. She does... She's done it before you know. <laughs> um yeah as much as I want to feel surprised no I'm not and neither is he obviously I doubt Rin is one to pay much attention to maximum doses and such so you should probably check on her later then just to make sure Emmy shrugs I'll stop by after practice she'll be fine until then I nod figuring that line of conversation is over the only problem is, I don't know what else to talk about. So, um... Beautiful weather we're having, right? That awkward situation you have. You got any more track meets coming up? I think this is ter terribly roundabout way of tell trying to see if she's free on the weekend. If she's free, then maybe I can ask her on a date or something. Well, assuming I can get myself to actually form the words. Emmy shakes her head. Nah, not for another couple weeks, I think. The season's winding down. Oh, yeah. I came in right in the middle of things, didn't I? Smooth. Does that mean exams are coming up soon? I should probably look into that. No, exams don't matter. This matters. What do you, what do, you do on the weekends if there's not a meet? Beating around the bush? <laughs> An eyebrow goes up and Emmy gets a teasing look on her face. You're awfully inquisitive today, aren't you? I shrug and hope to look casual. I'm just making conversation. I don't know what it's like to be a track star after all. Pfft, flattered. Flattery. Well, yeah, you know. She waves her hand idly. I'm not actually that good, you know. You just so happen to see me on a good day is all. You liar. Heh, <laughs> yeah. But humility is a sign of good of a good athlete. At least, that's what my dad used to say. Oh, no. She has a sad look on her face, and she mentioned her dad. What happened to her dad? I'm gonna... Uh, uh, I don't even know what to say. I'm so confused. 
She shrugs and tries unsuccessfully to hide the rather troubled expression on her face. Her face is taken on. Hey, what's up? You seem bothered by something. Emmy starts to deny it, then sighs in defeat. I wonder if she's too tired of being sick to get herself to deny it like usual. Or if she's actually just trust me enough at this point to open up. Well, you remember last night. Yes, we do. But I think right here a place where we should end the episode i know it's terrible i hate to do this but we've already been going for a while so like and favor if you've enjoyed subscribe of course and next time we'll be able to find out what's going on in this girl's head i'll see you then Yo -yo. Cool size.